What's up guys, welcome back to the Pokemon TCG. Today we are taking part in another expanded tournament uh, using our Pikachu and Zekrom expanded deck. Oh, we lost the coin flip, oh no. What are we gonna do? It's okay. Uh, we will take them all, oh, so will they. Good, they don't get an extra card here. Uh, so I don't know if you guys checked out last week's, uh, the fact that we participated in one of the tournaments. Hope you guys did, if you did, definitely let me know what you thought there. Uh, I'm really hoping to pull off a first place victory in today's episode, and I think we are starting off with a pretty good chance of it. So we have our Stadium Nav here, which I'm going to do some flips, try and get ourselves Thunder Mountain, so that way our uh, V card can go ahead and attack, and I can instead spend the time to attach this energy to Pikachu and Zekrom, so that way we can get a quick attack here on Lucario and Mel Metal. Because uh, we could get 20 damage applied to him here, draw two cards, and by the second turn be able to attack with 200 damage, uh, and maybe take him out. Ooh, yes, perfect. We'll go ahead and get rid of his stadium card here, uh, which this is just gonna allow him to search for two energy, correct? Discard, search for two energy cards, that's perfect. We will get rid of that before he can search for another energy card here. He's looking for evolution cards already. Very interesting, considering he doesn't have the basic Pokemon already. Uh, quite an interesting play there to search for the basic card before he has anything else. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can get the stadium nav here. Please give us a heads. Got a heads. Perfect. Give us Thunder Mountain. Perfect. All right. This is a very, very, very good start to us. So we're going to go ahead and attach this energy here. We're going to go ahead and use Electro Power here. And then we're going to go ahead and do 40 damage and draw ourselves, uh, 50 damage by mistake, and draw ourselves uh, a couple cards there, which we had another energy. Next turn, we can do 200 damage. And what's important about this is the fact if we pull ourselves another Electro Power, we can end this we can end this round next turn, depending on if they'll probably put some basic Pokemon down at this point. The likelihood of them not pulling a, a basic Pokemon is very low. Also, we have to keep in mind what they just did, they just had to refresh their deck because they did not have anything, so they wasted their uh, their timer ball there. Please pass to us. Perfect. Pass to us. Some good stuff could happen right now, guys. Some very good stuff could happen right now. We get a professor's letter, which isn't exactly what we were hoping for here. Uh, but this right here, if we sent in Tapakoka GX, when you play this uh, onto your energy, move all the energy from that Pokemon to this. So we could go ahead and have him do his GX attack, which is 50 times the energy attached to your opponent's Pokemon, which is three. So that would only do 150 damage. So that's not really what we're looking for here. But we could go ahead and shift and do a lot of damage. So I think that is what we're gonna end up doing here. We, uh, I don't think we're gonna end up going, I'm not gonna use my switch card here, I'm actually just gonna use his free retreat here. Uh, we are gonna end up doing the full blitz right now. How much do you have? What's the likelihood of you attacking me next turn? Attacking me with 150, for the rest of this game, your Pokemon takes 30 less damage. Search your deck for an energy card and attach it to this Pokemon. We have zero damage counters onto us. The likelihood of them killing us this turn is very low. So I'm going to go for a bit of a Hail Mary here and attach this energy to us here in the attempts to try and finish this as quickly as we can. If they, because right now we can do 200 damage, kill him while also putting 170 damage onto a benched Pokemon. So we could potentially end this this, this turn. He's thinking very hard right now trying to see what he can do to stay afloat. Because if he's unlucky and isn't pulling a basic Pokemon, he's going to use Cynthia, He, which I don't know why he used both of his professor's letters last turn to get four energy into his hand, which he didn't need. If As long as he doesn't play a basic Pokemon... Oh, but it discards all of our energy. Oh, shit. Let me see what Jirachi can get us right now. We need to do 60 damage is what we need to do. We need to do 60 damage. If we throw him in, you're the only one who can do damage right now. So I think our best chance here is a Cynthia. I think Cynthia is our best chance here. We attach energy to you. We Cynthia. And the hope to get a switch, or we got an Electro Power. We didn't get a switch, though, which is kind of what we needed. If you can get us a switch card, no. 
I'm gonna pull you to use you next turn. And then we're just gonna end it. Because we got two Electro Powers. But I couldn't get Jirachi out of there. If I could have gotten Jirachi out of there, we could have won. Which we still could. It depends on what they do this turn. It seems like they're getting very bad pulls or their deck isn't very well suited uh, for expanded format. Which, speaking from experience, it's taken me this long to build something. They have a very shiny card here, but honestly, Heavy Impact takes a lot of energy to only, to only do 150 damage. That's what I was saying there. So they knew it went, that game was ours, because I was going to use that support card, switch in, use my two Electro Powers, and win. I'll take it. I will take moving... Uh, ooh, and we're actually going to go right into a second round here. Uh, we'll actually move uh, directly into the next round here, because no matter what, we are going to be third or fourth place. So no matter what, we're going to get one pack and 100 trainer tokens, which is honestly what I need right now. I need some trainer tokens... Uh, for an upcoming tournament that we're taking part of. Uh, maybe we won't start. Maybe we have to wait until they finish theirs. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Here we go, 10 seconds to the next round. What I do think would be very interesting is being able to view the way these went. Like, I would love to take a look at, at this one and see how many prize cards were drawn. Like, uh, interesting than looking at mine, they would have saw no prize card cards drawn. It would have been very interesting to see. Uh, we're also going up against a dark deck here. Uh, we are again losing the coin flip. Let's see who they decide. I actually, they chose to go first. I honestly don't mind going first with this deck. We are, of course, going to take a mulligan here. Uh, we had a, some pretty decent cards, some speed energy, uh, which is always very useful. So let's go ahead and reshuffle and redraw. Hopefully with a Pokemon this time. With Jirachi, I'll take a Jirachi. Jirachi's never hurtful to have a Jirachi. Let's see if they also draw a card. It'd be weird not to. I don't know why they drew three cards. Oh, because uh, it doesn't show us all of the shufflings anymore, it just shows us right to it. Let's go ahead and go for a Crushing Hammer here. Take heads, go ahead and get rid of that energy off of them. Uh, I think a quick bong would be best. Let's go ahead and get a quick bong for the rest. Uh, we'll go ahead and play our quick ball here. We'll go ahead and get rid of a Professor's Letter because we already have one sitting there. And we'll go ahead and get ourselves a Pikachu and Zekrom because we really want to set up Pikachu and Zekrom as quickly as we can. I'm still on the lookout for a Max Ether to put into this deck uh, because that would be very useful. And a quick setup for this uh, for Pikachu and Zekrom or for Raichu and Alolan Raichu right here. Also, let's check out Hoopa right here. Hope Hoopa GX. Search your deck for up to two cards, put them into your hand, and shuffle your deck. This Pokemon can't use Dark Strike during your next turn, doing 160 damage. Choose one of your opponent's Pokemon GX or EX six uh, six times. Uh, you for each time you do choose 30 damage. Dude. Oh wow, that's a lot. What are we doing here? Search your deck for three cards, discard them, shuffle your deck afterwards. What's the point of? Discarding? Maybe, maybe maybe they have an ability. Yeah, they only discard an energy, so... You don't have the energy here. Oh, if this Pokemon is in your 10-4. If this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put it onto your bench and then attack a dark energy too. That's actually very smart. That's very smart. Uh, they, of course, went with the max uh, elixir. I said ether earlier. The max elixir... Uh, but they did not have any basic energy here. They are rogue ringing, so they are searching for two cards and putting them into the hand. Uh, so let's think about how this next hand could go well for us. If we pull a, a Cynthia, which is honestly what I'd like to have, we can get it for um, uh, hopefully from Jirachi here. Uh, we, what we need is uh, a Stadium Nav would be useful, or just pulling Thunder Mountain in general. Uh, we actually pull Cynthia right there, so what does Jirachi have available for us? Thunder Mountain, perfect. So let's actually pull... Thunder Mountain here. Let's throw Thunder Mountain out there. Let's attach that right there. Let's go ahead and use Cynthia. Hope for a Switch card or a Scoop Up Net. No, we do get a Town Map though. Uh, we could throw Tapa Coco in here and they would actually switch that Pokemon and become the active Pokemon. With the Muscle Band on, we could do 150 damage. It wouldn't kill Hoopa, but it would be very close to hurting Hoopa. Uh, but that would, of course, move all of the energy to him. Uh, but 170 damage, I do think we need to be aggressive. Uh, I do think we, we, te we, we definitely need to be aggressive right now. Actually, 150. We're doing 150 damage right now. Uh, right? 20 more damage. We were doing 150. We could use our Electro Power 
and do 180 damage, but that wouldn't kill. If that killed, I think we'd use it, but since it's not killing, I think we save that for next time. So let's go ahead and, and use uh, Sky Gloss here. Uh, go ahead and do 130 damage, uh, 150 damage, because again, using the Muscle Band there, very useful there. We have Darkrai here. Uh, Europe, oh wow. When you play this card, you can attach two energy. That's really cool. They're going to have Ninja Boy, and they are going to put Hoopa into their deck. I really wish we could have killed Hoopa. And they're going to come out with Greninja. Uh, can Greninja attack? Will they kill? They will kill. Oh. We should be very afraid right now. Absolutely horrified. Uh, no, we are at a bit of a disadvantage here. Uh, we are going to go ahead and use our speed energy here. We also can put our escape board onto Jirachi, which would be very useful. Or we'll use a scoop up net instead. Uh, using the scoop up net, though, is going to put Pikachu and Zekrom into harm's way here, which I don't necessarily want to do. Uh, and I don't want to scoop them. So I'll pull the scoop up into my hand, but I don't think we're going to end up using it because I'm pretty sure they're going to end up killing, which actually, I think what we're going to end up doing here is we are going to go ahead and discard these two things here. Uh, so that way we can go ahead and pull the two of them to put onto our bench. So that way when we attack with Pikachu and Zekrom next turn, as long as he doesn't get rid of our Thunder Mountain, we can attach those energy to Pokemon here. Because he is going to kill here. This attack does 30 times damage, something that I have energy on your Pokemon. So that right now is doing 190. It was doing 190. Now it's going to be doing 210 damage. Uh, is he going to switch me? No, he's going to shuffle. Okay, that could have that been dangerous there. Uh, he wouldn't kill Pikachu and Zekrom, but he would definitely do a lot of damage, and he gets rid of Thunder Mountain, so we are now screwed. When a Pokemon, uh, has any knocked out, that player takes... Th the Black Market is actually very powerful. We might be stopped right here. They already have a lot of energy set up right now. Uh, unless we get a stroke of luck. Something very lucky happening. I think we might be stopped here. Which is okay, that's what I love about doing tournaments like this is it, it gives me the ability to learn from other people's decks, seeing the way that they perform. Like learning about this Battle Compressor. I've never heard of this card before. I've never seen it in, in use before. And it's honestly very cool for some quick setups. And in doing this, they're attaching energy on there to make what Garchomp and uh, Zekrom are doing here even, or uh, Zarok right here, even more powerful. Right there, I think they did 280 damage? 310 damage. That's absolutely insane. Uh... They actually win next turn. There's nothing we can do here. They win next turn. Uh, let's go for a Crushing Hammer. It's a Tails. Of course it is. Uh, let's see what cards you get me. Uh, I was really hoping you'd give me something else. Yeah, they win. Hey, well played. You have a good deck. Well played. Yep, they know it. They know it that this game is over. Just go ahead and attack me. Please don't spend your turn. Okay, or do your turn. Do 340 damage to me. Alright, well... Why? What's the point of the... What was the point of them doing that? You already won. You were doing 340 damage. I will take it. Guys... Honestly, not upset. Because like I said, no matter what, we're getting 100, co we're getting 100 coins, which is really what I wanted to do. I just wanted to jump in. Do another tournament. Uh, we went for the the quick play here, which maybe looking back on it, maybe that wasn't the play to make. Maybe we should have kept that energy onto Pikachu and Zekrom, but I really think we needed to be aggressive. And as we saw there, us being aggressive the way we were, could have went back. Either way, we do get ourselves a Rebel Clash pack, a random booster pack, and 100 trainer tokens. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to come back next week for another tournament here in the Pokemon TCG Online. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.